In this video, we'll be going over combination sum. So given an array of distinct integers, candidates, and a target integer, target, return a list of unique combinations of candidates, where the chosen number sum to target, you may return the combinations in any order. The same number may be chosen from candidates an unlimited number of times. Two combinations are unique if the frequency of at least one of the chosen number is different. It's guaranteed that the number of unique combinations that sum up to target is less than 150 combinations for the given input. So in our first example, we have the candidates are 2, 3, 6, 7. Our target is 7. Our first combination is 2, 2, 3, which has a sum of 7. And 7 also has a sum of 7. Let's go do the dot process. We will be implementing a recursive backtracking approach. For each of the starting index i, we will be scanning forward scanning forward from i to the end of the array, which will be denoted as index j, to find the elements x to be included in our combination. Um, we should know that we are only allowed to include an element if the element is smaller than or equal to the current target, because if, if x is greater than the current target, the sum will overflow only allow to pick elements x that are less than or equal to target then after after picking x to be added into our combination we will continue our search for the rest of the elements for target minus x then after accounting for x, then we will want to backtrack of steps, basically removing the last elements for our combination. This will allow us to give space for the next element and also finding the next combination. So we'll backtrack our steps by removing x. This will allow us to give space to the next element and also finding the next combination. Then when target reaches zero, this means we have found a valid combination. Let's go do the pseudocode. So we're going to create a list result to keep track of all combinations. And then we're going to implement the recursive backtracking approach. What parameters do we need? It's going to be i, the current starting index we're scanning forward. And then we have the input rate, candidates. And then our target, our current target, is the input list. Or it's actually input rate current target and then com is going to be our current combination and the results is going to be a list of all combinations and then what is the base case base case is when target reaches zero that means we have found a valid combination then we can add the copy of com to result this is very important then we can return from recursive call. Then we'll then in each of the recursive call we're gonna to iterate to the elements from i to the end of the array. So we're gonna denote it as i. So we're gonna denote it as i okay so we're gonna retrieve the current elements if candidates i is greater than target we want to skip the current element so we're going to continue the next iteration we do not want to include this element in our combination now we're going to add candidates i to our combination then we're going to recursively find the rest of the combination by our current index stays the same 
but our target changes to target minus candidates I. Then we're going to backtrack our steps. So remove the last elements from comp. Then after everything, we can return our resulting list. Now let's go over the code. So we have lists of all results. So I do a new array list. And then we're going to return results after we finish backtracking. So this one's going to recursive backtracking. Our current starting index zeros and our input array candidates, and our targets, and our current combination. So it's going to be new array list. And then our results. So if target is go to zero, we have found a valid combination. So result that add new array list, add comp, and then we can return from the recursive call. Now we're going to iterate zero to find the elements to be included in our combination. So, oh, this is, this is wrong. Because we denote it as J here. So we should be denoting this as J. And then if candidate J is greater than target we want to skip and then add candidate j to our combination because our index i is our starting index which we, which we do not want j is less than the length of input array if the current element is greater than the, is greater than target we want to continue to the next element and then we can add the current elements to our combination and then recursively find the rest of the elements. We should know that we're continuing our search from J because oh, we actually continue our search from J actually. So our current starting index turns to J. This is because we're allowed to use the same elements multiple times. results and then remove the last elements Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload vid videos every day and if there, are, if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.